Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we're gonna be going through the steps of setting up the Google Chromecast, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. If you are into Google devices or the Google Assistant, I've been diving deep into the Google ecosystem, so consider subscribing. In today's video, we're gonna be going through the setup for the Google Chromecast, and I'll be showing you how to hook it up to the TV or the monitor that I've got back here, and then going through the setup in the app. So with that said, let's get started. Okay, so we're taking a look at the box. We have got the Chromecast right here, pretty tiny. Lifting up this box, we've got some other boxes in here. We have got the power cable, so this is what you're gonna to use to power the device. And then we also have a power brick right here. So you can either take this and plug it into a wall, or if your TV or monitor support an HDMI, you can plug this directly from the Chromecast right into the USB port into the monitor or TV. So this cable is pretty long, so I went and I purchased a smaller cable. I actually got a cable that was only about six inches right here. So this is the cable that I use because I have my USB port so close to my HDMI and uh, I just like having this small one right here. I'll link it below if you guys want to check that out. But now that we've seen what comes in the box, let me get this thing plugged in and we'll start the setup. All right, now that we have it plugged in, it's gonna go through its loading process, get everything loaded up. So we're gonna grab the phone here load up the app. So if you don't have it already, you're gonna need the Google Home app for your phone. You can get this for iOS or Android, but I'm gonna go ahead and load up the Google Home app. And if you don't have a Google account, you're gonna to need to create one and log in with that as well. So since I already have one and I've got everything loaded up here, I'm gonna click on the plus sign up in the top left corner, and then I'm gonna click on set up a device. So our two options here are setting up a new device or a works with Google device. Since this is a Google device, I'm gonna say setting up a new device. Since I do already have my home set up, I'm gonna select next on that, and it's gonna start looking for this device. Okay, we see that it found the device right here. It's gonna bring up some options of what was nearby and what I want to add. So I'm gonna look at the very top here, Chromecast, 6250. Now, if I look on the screen back here, right down here, Chromecast 6250. So I know I am connecting to the right one. So I'm going to select that one and click on next. Found the device and is connecting to it. And if we notice on the screen back here, it has some numbers and coloring back there and that my phone matches it the same way. So I know I am connecting to the right device. So yes, I do see those numbers. You do have to agree to the legal terms. So we're going to click on that help improve the Chromecast uh, with crash reports. I'm just gonna say no thank you for there. And then where is this device? So this is pretty important on where you're gonna put the device because it's going to put that into that room so that if you have other devices in that room, they're all gonna work better together. So for me, I'm going to uh, eventually put this in the master bedroom. So we'll select that and click on next connecting to Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi that I am connected to on my cell phone is the one that it is going to pick up. We do have the option of selecting other ones, but I'm fine with it just using my home Wi-Fi here. And what's cool about this is that it's going to connect and set up all the Wi-Fi stuff that I've already set up in my phone. So I don't have to go in and reset up Wi-Fi stuff and enter in passwords or anything like that. It's just gonna take what's on my phone and it's going to just integrate it into the Chromecast back here. Okay, so now it's linking to the Chromecast. I'm gonna click on Next. All right, it's got some things to read for things for you to know. I'm gonna click on Next there. We're gonna skip over that stuff. And then this is where you're gonna set up your different services. So linking radio services, you have the option of linking Sirius XM. I don't have that, so I'm gonna say not right now. Uh, other things that you can link up, we've got Netflix, Hulu, CBS, Stars. Now, because I have other Google devices, I've already set up Netflix and Hulu, so those are already linked up, so that's good. I'm gonna click on Next for that. You can link Live TV with Sling TV. I'm gonna say Not Right Now. Stay in the know if you wanna set it up. All right, and then here is a rundown of what we just set up. So we have it in the master bedroom. Here are the services that we did connect to it, and that this is the Wi-Fi that it's connected to. We're gonna click on Next. Now it's going to give us a little tutorial on how to use the Chromecast. So we can select any one of these. You don't have to have an account in them. I'm gonna click on HBO Now. 
and this says up in the top right corner, we're gonna click on this icon up here. So I'm gonna tap on that. Okay, now this is interesting. Um, it tells me if I cancel out of here, it tells me that uh, to tap on the button up there and then I'm gonna see Master Bedroom TV, uh, which is this one back here. So if I click on the button up here, I'm not seeing Master Bedroom TV up here. So it looks like there was a glitch, it did glitch out. I'm going to hard close the app, we're gonna reload it back up and uh, pick up from there. All right, so I hard closed out of the app, loaded it back up. If we scroll down, let's go to Master Bedroom, we see that Master Bedroom TV is listed right here. So what we're gonna do to test this out, uh, let's close out of here and load up YouTube. And if we look up at the very top of YouTube up here, we see that icon again. So if I tap on that icon, I'm gonna select on Master Bedroom TV. So it's going to link it up to my YouTube account back here. And then let's go ahead and just select this Linus one. I'm gonna click on play. And here it is back here, loaded up for me, for me to control. On the very bottom of the app down here, I can tap on here to bring up the menu of what's going on. We can rewind it 10 seconds, pause it, fast forward it 10 seconds, skip to the next track, and then if we look at the name of the actual video and the three dots next to it, tapping on those, we can uh, turn on and off closed caption, like the video, different things like that. And then if we want to disconnect it, we're gonna tap on the icon up in the top corner again and just click on disconnect and it will bring it back to normal. And not only does it work with YouTube, but it works with so many different apps. If we take a look at the front of the box, we see things like Netflix, Hulu, HBO Now, Prime Video, Disney Plus, that's a huge one right there. You've got Pandora, so you can do music, ESPN, Facebook, there are a lot of different things that you can cast to the Chromecast, and you can plug this thing into anything. I have it plugged into a monitor back here. You can plug it into a TV. I've plugged it into a projector. This thing can be plugged into anything with an HDMI port and a display screen. Well, anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As a reminder, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.